So now that we uh, can actually save a syllabus, it will make sense to also be able to view the syllabuses on the page. So we're going to try and do that now using the same service that we just created. So just remember the service, which is right here, is uh, pretty much taking, we're going to use that service for pretty much everything we're going to do with the REST API now, the syllabus REST API. So um, we're going to try and use this service again now to, in the controller, read all the syllabus from the database. And um, before we do, if you haven't already done it, you need to uh, do a git checkout uh, version 015. And I'll have to put some dot zeros in here somewhere because this is going way too fast in the, in the versions, but fair enough. Um, so check it out, the code, and then you'll get what I have right here. Now, the first thing we want to do is, using the service, we want to read out all the syllabuses. And it's pretty simple, actually. We'll do what we call a query. And in this case, I'm not adding anything to the query. I'm just doing the very basics of saying, syllabus service query to get everything from the database uh, when I do a slash syllabus API slash, let me just show you, Postman, that's just easier. So what it's pretty much saying is, do a get, and do this for all syllabuses. That's what it's doing. And then you're getting back, back the response of, um, of this. This is all the syllabuses available right now. Okay. So let me just jump back to the code. How are we going to use that? When it's found all the syllabuses, then take those syllabuses and save them on the scope. Now the scope is the area that we could use in the HTML. So now we have a way for us to access in the HTML code, the syllabuses, okay? Now I know this might not make sense yet, but as we move forward, you'll start to hear more and more and understand more and more about what's going on, I hope. So I'm saying now, there's a scope syllabuses here that points to this syllabus, which is the list I just loaded from the database using the service and the query, just like we saved before using the service. So now we've pulled out all the syllabuses and saved them right here. Now we need to present them somehow in the UI. So if I go over to the HTML now, we have another way of doing that. So let me just write uh, make a div here. Okay, that was not pretty. Let's just try again. So let's just make a div here. Div, end the tag, and just end it here, just to show you. There we have it. We have a beautiful div tag. Inside this guy, we're going to use another directory called ng-repeat. If you guys have tried uh, any other coding language, this is like a for loop. It's a loop for us to run over all the syllabuses, and it's actually what we call a for each loop, because we're going to say, we're going to write syllabus in single form, in the list of syllabuses in plural form, okay? So that means that I'm going to add a div for every syllabus. Oops, that needs to be Y. For every syllabus, I'm going to add a div. And in each of those divs, I'm going to use this annotation again that you saw before, the curly brackets here, to say double curly brackets. And inside those, I can actually write in single form, syllabus.title. Now this is going to look not that pretty, but that's how you do it. So now, the controller have pulled out the data for me and saved it inside this scope.syllabuses. And then notice in the HTML, I don't write scope in front of it because it knows everything it's looking for is looking for inside the scope. So I just write syllabuses. So I say for each syllabus I find in the syllabuses, then make this div and write the title. So let's see how that looks inside the HTML. So this is how it looks inside the browser right now, kind of boring. We have three syllabuses shown right here. So the goal for the next lesson will be for us to actually shine it up and make it look something a bit better than this. And also to make it so that when we add a new guy, if you notice if I add a new guy here, John the dude course, I don't know. And I gave the lecture the name of John and I add the syllabus, nothing happens here. It is saved, but nothing happens. I'll have to do a refresh, and then John pops up here. Now, I'm not satisfied with that, so we'll also make that happen so it loads real time. 
That's all for the next lesson. See you next time.